Hey folks, welcome back. We've got this 1999 Dodge Ram in the shop here with some uh, hard starting issues. Long crank right before it starts. Um, so if you have any of those issues like that, there's something that we want to check for. And we'll get to that right away. And then uh, later on we're going to go through um, theory of operation and the service manual and all that stuff. Trying to figure out um, what is... Uh, going on with this thing okay we'll show you what it does um, and just take note and right about in this area right here there's a little bit of a test see what if you can figure out what's missing and um, go from there so here we go So anyways, I've been trying to diagnose this problem for, for quite a while, um, trying different things, check valves, um, checking injectors, all this, that, and the other, before I realized what I noticed was is going on. Um, so basically, um, you know, I can do this again, and it'll probably do the same thing, or it will do the same thing, I know that. Um, but watch this when... Uh, what I'm going to do is actually I'm going to pause this video and I'm going to let this thing sit because it's, you know, it, it will restart again once it's been running right away. So anyways, um, hold on just a second. Okay, we're back. Um, let this thing sit a little bit longer and we're going to turn the key and we're just going to you uh, pause for just, I mean, we're not going to start it right away. So turn the key on. Notice we don't have a wait to start light. There it goes. What we got going on here? Now sometimes uh, I've timed it up to about eight seconds um, before that wait to start light comes on. But if that wait to start light comes on, for just a, you know a little bit this could be warm i mean right now it's probably oh it's probably 65 60 to 65 degrees in this shop so you know your intake heater and all that kind of stuff shouldn't really need to come on at all um but i believe that that wait start light should come on immediately when you turn the key to the on position within a second or two but it shouldn't wait that long i assume we have a failing um ECM, but we got to go in through the service manual to figure out which. Uh, when I say which ECM, well, the the main ECM for all the, your fuel control and engine running is right is behind the uh, that fuel water separator. It's right in there. But then you have the PCM powertrain control module right back in there which does other things like fuel control, like from your pedal and does transmission shit, you know. So I don't know exactly which function does what in that particular deal, but I just wanted to, you know, if you're chasing after this issue and you've done um, a whole bunch of different troubleshooting, trying to figure out, you know, what's causing this long crank before it starts, that's why I wanted to show you this deal um, you know, because now this thing is sat here for a little bit and, um, we can do this again. And I know this thing will start right up. We sit here and wait. Does that every time. And I've done quite a bit of troubleshooting on this. Um, like I said, I've... I've installed check valves. There's supposed to be a check valve in the uh, lift pump, which we have recently replaced because that's the reason this this pickup came in here. They've said that this starting issue has been going on for a while, um, but the lift pump, the pump finally failed and had to have this pickup towed in. And basically it was trying to do troubleshooting to uh, figure out, you know, you don't want to just go and replace a uh, $1,500 VP44 pump and find out that that's not going to fix your problem. So I've been trying to figure this out and I've checked all the injectors. Um, 
you can remove the in I had all these injector lines off of here and you can check uh, coming out of the f uh, feeder tube right after you take all these lines off and uh, crank the engine over with nothing on I've got one of those button deals and if you feel compression coming out um, you know that that's a bad injector so <clears throat> you know it passed all those tests we actually pulled popped out the uh, feed tube replaced the o-rings on them because that can cause um, long cranks or no starts or, you know if you got leaks or whatnot um, none of that changed anything that was prior to, to knowing exactly if you if that way to start light was associated with this um, long crank or no start basically um, you know I mean you could just I don't know if what we're gonna figure out and find but um, you know if it's your own pickup or something like that you can just sit there and wait for that wait to start light to come on but it's technically not supposed to really work like this especially being this warm uh, you know ambient temperature being this warm this thing she should be able to turn the key on for about a half a second to a second and just crank and start and she should just take off and go <clears throat> like I said I've had to wait almost eight to ten seconds sometimes for that wait start light to come on and when it comes on that uh, lift pump back there kind of primes itself for a second um, but it's also probably doing some other stuff maybe it's turning on the fuel pump control module which is on top of the VP44 pump and we're gonna go through this theory of operations so if you want to you know keep keep watching along and we'll try to figure out exactly what's um, you know gonna try to pinpoint what's what's going on and what we need to uh, do to fix this problem <clears throat> 